I found 13 jobs that anyone can do in 2024. These are jobs where you don't need a college mm. degree, fancy mm -hmm. certifications, or previous experience, and you can get into them relatively easily. In fact, some of them you could literally start within the next week. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a property and casualty producer. And this is basically a licensed professional specialized in selling insurance policies that protect against property loss and liability. And you can think of this position as a guardian angel for your assets, providing a safety net for life's unpredictable moments. By the way, an interesting fact is insurance is actually 4,000 years old. And the first insurance practices were adopted in ancient Babylon. In this position, you can make about 56 to $100,000 a year. So the essential skills here are communication skills, sales acumen, and a deep understanding of whatever insurance product you're selling. And yeah, any type of sales type role, especially if it's for a higher ticket product, is going to be really good and it's relatively easy to get into. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is another sales role and that's going to be outside sales. So this is one where it's typically done outside the office. That's why it's called outside sales. And there are two different types of outside sales roles. There's ones where you kind of work at home and you're just like messaging people all day long and maybe once in a while you're going to meet them. And then there's ones where you're actually like going to people's offices and stuff like that and trying to sell them stuff. And both of them would technically be outside of the office, but one of them is sort of a remote job and the other one's definitely a remote job. But outside sales reps make about 85 to 151 thousand dollars a year. That is a tremendous amount of money. So again, another sales position where you can make really good money and it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And I've actually talked a lot about a bunch of different sales related positions on this channel. I've also promoted other channels that talk about sales such as Antoine from Black Heights. And by the way, if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel as well, because I helped Antoine grow his channel, I do offer coaching for a few people every month in how to grow on YouTube. This is not for people who have never started started a YouTube channel before who have never thought about starting it. This is for people who are serious about growing and monetizing YouTube. So if you think you're one of those people, maybe you're a business owner yourself already, or you are a smaller YouTuber that's just tried a bunch of times, but you haven't quite broken through, you can go ahead and apply for a consultation down below. I am very picky about who I talk to because I don't have that much time, but I do like coaching a few people a month. So you can apply for that in the pinned comment or the description down below. Next is going to be a verification researcher. This is basically someone who researches candidates that apply for a role to make sure that they're telling the truth and they're actually going to be a good fit for the role. So again, typically does not require a college degree or previous experience. This one's pretty straightforward. You know, if you're pretty good at Facebook stalking people, for instance, this might be a good role for you. Here's how much you'd make in this role. So yeah, I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next on the list is going to be a product research assistant. And this is a position where you play a crucial role in supporting product research. And oftentimes it is going to be from the comfort of your own home. And I I really like this quote by Seth Godin where it goes, don't find customers for your product, find products for your customers. And in this role, you'd expect to make about 58 to $88,000 a year. So yeah, this one is pretty self-explanatory, pretty good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment below if you like any of these jobs, or maybe you think I should have included some other ones that would fall under these categories, and maybe I'll include them in a future video. Next is going to be a remote ticketing coordinator. And this is someone who manages ticket sales and coordination for events, focusing on customer satisfaction and sales efficiency. And this is a position that that's typically employed in the entertainment, sports, recreation, and arts related industries. And you're basically going to be handling ticketing related activities in a virtual environment. And you can kind of think of a remote ticketing coordinator as a digital gatekeeper of events where every ticket sold is a key to an unforgettable experience. And ticketing coordinators make about 41 to $58,000 a year. And as you can imagine, this is not one of those roles that requires a college degree or previous experience in most cases. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next, is going to be an entry-level communications associate. And this is someone who focuses on writing and managing communication projects, crafting strategies for media promotion, and handling an organization's online presence. And these associates are integral to various industries, especially in companies looking to strengthen their brand and public engagement. And communications associates make about forty-eight dollars to $76,000 a year. So yeah, this is where you would be assisting a communications associate, and so it would likely make less than that. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 
10 opportunity score. Now, if you wanted to get a higher paying job, you could go into something digital marketing related because this one is sort of digital marketing related because it deals with a brand's online presence and chances are you would be dealing with their social media marketing. And there's a phenomenal course where I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gotten results with it and actually gotten digital marketing jobs. And you can check out a free training for that course, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And it's going to teach you everything you need to know about digital marketing, what types of jobs are the best to get into, and whether it's a good fit for you and your personality. So definitely check that out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. It's completely free. Next is going to be a reservationist. And this is someone who assists in helping customers book various travel arrangements from cozy hotel rooms to adventurous cruises. And these professionals are in demand with travel agencies, hospitality companies, and online travel platforms catering to an ever-growing clientele seeking seamless travel experiences. And reservationists make thirty-six to $52,000 a year. So yeah, this is another one that's relatively easy to get into. I've heard time and time again from people I've talked to and people I've coached that have been able to get into these types of jobs relatively easily. I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be relatively similar, and that's a travel researcher. So this is someone who researches different travel destinations. So usually they would specialize in a particular destination and just know everything about that place. So for instance, if you live in a city that a lot of people travel to, this might be perfect for you because you can actually go to different coffee shops, go to different bars, different restaurants, and see which ones are the best so that you can give your clients the best recommendations. And travel researchers make about forty six to seventy six thousand dollars a year. So again, another role relatively easy to get into doesn't require a college degree or previous experience, definitely one for you to look into. I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't done it already, what are you thinking? I have like a bunch of lurkers on this channel, people that watch my channel all the time, but for some reason they don't subscribe. I think it's about 80% of you. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Don't be a lurker. Next on the list is going to be a fulfillment specialist. This is someone who's basically the magical wizard behind the curtain who ensure that your online orders arrive at your doorstep in some cases within a few hours or overnight. That's right. They're responsible for managing and coordinating the processes of fulfillment, including inventory management, order processing, and shipping. And they often work in a remote location. And order fulfillment specialists make about thirty-nine to $56,000 a year. And like all the other ones on this list, it's relatively easy to get into, usually does not require a college degree or previous experience. So this one, I'll go ahead and give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote administrative associate. And this is someone who handles schedules, correspondence, travel arrangements, research, and customer service, often from the comfort of their own home. And they're usually hired by businesses, startups, and organizations looking for remote administrative support. And in this position, you can make forty-five to $65,000 a year. And this is a busy body type position. You're likely going to be working a lot and you're going to be doing a lot of work while you work, but it can be relatively fulfilling and there's opportunities for promotion down the line in many cases. So overall, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an inventory associate. And this is kind of like a traffic controller of goods, ensuring every item lands exactly where it should be all from a distance. And so, yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're basically making sure that you have enough inventory so that, you know, when people order or for whatever reason, because a movie came out or something like that, a bunch of people order a certain type of product, you have enough to fulfill and you don't run out of stock. So this position is typically employed by e-commerce companies, logistics firms, and businesses with remote operations. And these associates play a key role in supply chain management. And inventory associates make about 36 to $49,000 a year. So yeah, relatively easy to get into, not the highest paying, not the most glamorous job. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a legal administrative assistant. And this is basically the background of a legal organization providing essential support to legal professionals. And they perform tasks such as legal research, document preparation, scheduling, and maintaining records. And legal administrative assistants make about forty-eight dollars to $72,000 a year. And this is one of those jobs that's well known to be sort of like a difficult job. It, you know, it's a lot of work, long hours. However, you don't really need that much experience in order to get into it. In many cases, you don't need a college degree or previous experience. So it's another one of those jobs where you can make money and get started relatively easily. So I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a documents specialist. And this is someone who's responsible for managing, organizing, and ensuring the accuracy of documents, often involving tasks such as document preparation, data entry, and record maintenance. And various companies, including law firms, healthcare organizations, financial institutions, and corporate offices, hire these professionals to maintain and streamline their document-related processes. And document specialists make about forty-seven dollars to $73,000 a year. I'll give this 
one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't seen it already, I did make a video called the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.